All right, I'm going to unbox our brand new MakerBot Replicator Plus and compare it to the fifth gen system we have here. All right, so out of the box we have some sort of startup kit. Alright, yeah, so a quick start guide and a Smart Extruder Plus registration card. Uh, looks like a full of filament here. And this is cool gray. Here's our Smart Extruder Plus. Um, and then, of course, USB cables, power cable. And an Allen key. Put that back in here for now. All right. Now it's, it feels about as heavy as fifth gen, maybe a little heavier. And there's plenty of packing. Looks like it's well packed to keep it from moving around during shipping. Alright, so inside of the bag here we've got the system. Alright, so I'll lift it up out of here. Down on the table. It doesn't look like there's anything else in the box. So we've got everything we need out of this box. So that was quick. Um, now, underneath the system, there's some foam and some orange tape. It looks pretty straightforward. Just slide out the uh, foam and pull the tape off. Nothing else under there. And it looks like they've got a couple of clips on the belts to keep the gantry from moving during shipping. And one to keep the Z table from moving during shipping. That also has a handy little spot for the filament tube. So I think that's everything out of here already. So with these two printers next to each other, we're gonna look at what's different. Um, obviously the build plate, bigger. It is, uh, does not need to be leveled. Um, the way it comes out is different uh, and it's flexible to allow for you to pop the parts off easily. It looks like in this back corner, if you flip that over, there's a little icon that shows that you can push through here. So I guess this whole part is going to be replaceable as it wears. Um, whereas the fifth gen it's glass and requires you to put the painters tape on it so you no longer need painters tape which is nice um, the gantry looks significantly more robust in the replicator plus than in the fifth gen and if you take a look down on the Z stage it looks like this has been redesigned back here um, I can't tell if the bearings have been upgraded. Maybe that's part of what allows the uh, factory leveling, but it looks significantly different. So um, those are the uh, what appear to be the main differences in the system, and uh, that could account for the maybe the reduction in, in noise while printing uh, and the increase in speed. Um, 
but otherwise they look very similar as far as the um, the body. I think the actual housing is identical. All right, so now it's time for the speed test. So I'm going to print the exact same part on both at the exact same time. So we'll go to internal storage. I'm just going to use the example of the chain link and print. So the replicator plus looks like it kind of calibrates itself before it heats up, whereas the fifth gen um, heats up before it, it goes and gets into position. All right, so now they're both done. Um, looks like the plus finished in 22 minutes and three seconds, and the fifth gen in 2411. So slightly faster on this build. My guess is it will vary depending on what you're printing, but in this case, faster, but not too, too much faster. So let's see about getting these off of the build plate. Flex this tray. Try to get this part off of here. So, so the part itself comes off easily on both of them. And by flexing, I'm going to get my finger under here and pop that off. Whereas with this one, Probably have to get my get my wood chisel out. And yeah, once I get, get that under there, I can peel that off. So not too big of a deal, but definitely definitely easier having the ability to flex the tray. Slide that back in. And slide this one back in. I definitely like the lack of uh, build plate tape. Um, you can see where I've printed, there is a little bit of a scar on there, um, but it's, it's very smooth. Um, so this surface probably needs to be replaced periodically, but it doesn't seem like it needs to be replaced anywhere often, anywhere near as often as the uh, blue painter's tape, where you can clearly see from me chiseling parts off of here that I scrape it up. So that's a nice feature. Um, and then let's take a look at these parts. So the white part came off the fifth gen, the uh, gray part off of the new Rep Plus. Um, overall, the part quality looks pretty darn similar. Um, and again, I'll be testing more with other prints. But uh, what I did notice is the strategy for the raft is much different. So you can take a look under there um, and clearly see that they've changed up some of the toolpath um, for the raft, which maybe that helps peel the part off a little bit easier so overall it's a 
really easy system to set up um, and there are definitely some nice new features about it that um, you know take it to the next uh, level from where the fifth gen was.